Hey, today is February 4th, 2017. Came out to do some nymphing today. Some wild trout here in central PA. It's a cold one. Trying to stay warm. Fishing with my friend Doug, Austin, and Josiah. See if we can get some fish hooked up today. I got the first fish of the day. Nice little rainbow. Nice little wild rainbow. I want a size 16 rainbow warrior, so we're gonna keep fishing here. Maybe we can get some other hookups. Fish number two of the day. Beautiful little rainbow on the rainbow warrior. Second of the day. Third fish of the day for me. Took the rainbow warrior. The biggest one. Oh yeah, it's a good rainbow. Yeah. Rainbow warrior, that's fourth of the day on that one. Give it up. Good fish. Probably 15, 16 inches there. Beautiful rainbow. Little dead three point. Cool find. First of the day, not a bad one. I'm fishing with 6X, and that was about 8 inches of water I just pulled that fish out of. And that's where they're laying, hopefully. Maybe, I, maybe I'm onto something. First one of the day, hopefully we get some more. I just caught that fish right in front of this rock right here. Nice little run. It's really shallow, but there's fish all through here. So we're going to see if we can make Couple casts later, got a really, really tiny guy. He took the waltz worm. Beautiful little baby brownie. Very pretty. Beautiful red spots. Here's my uh, fly setup right now. Off my cider, I have tippet ring, and then I've got 6X to my uh, anchor fly about this far. That's probably three, three and a half feet there, down to my waltz worm. And then about a foot up, around 16 inches above that, I got my dropper tag with a little midge off there. And this is virtually weightless. You don't need hardly any weight in this very shallow water. I just picked up three right off of that. So I'm gonna keep fishing this, it's working. Gotta love fish in Spring Creek. All the fish's mouths are destroyed because people catch them so many times. <laughs> Took the uh, midge. This is the very next cast. I turned my camera off because my battery di dies really easy it's cool in the cold weather. That fish took the same fly. And that fish's mouth also tore up. It's real brownie. So I guess I'm gonna keep the camera on because I'm getting into it now, that's number five. <laughs> I didn't get anything there for a while, so I put on a uh, heavier waltz because I got into some deeper water, with a big tungsten bead on it. And I picked up a little one I didn't film, and then this one. So that's eight, seven or eight, I believe, in the day. 
My camera's dying so fast and it's cold, but I finally I got a nice fish here. It'll be the biggest of the day. He took the midge. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Biggest of the day. Number eight in the day. Number nine, he just popped off there. Right in my boot. So I'm on a Waltz worm. Got number ten on. All these overhanging trees and 11 foot rod. He took the mid. Gorgeous brownie. Show you the midge here. If he opens his mouth. See that midge? I don't know, maybe it's size 2018, not sure. Gold bead, black, little copper wire uh, rib on it. Right there's the midge. I've been catching them on variations of this, but basically this. With the tail, without the, without the tail. But yeah, basically that. Here's the waltz worm I'm using, just a, a very dark greenish gray. These fish are really picky, so you really gotta match what the actual thing looks like. They won't hit a lighter color. They, I've never got one on a lighter tan or anything. Just this color on Spring Creek. Took the squirmy. It's the first of the day. First of many. We have a brownie. February 6, 2017, it's the first one of the day. Gorgeous fish. Man down. You good? Do you snap your rod? Josiah, how do you like fly fishing? I like it. Do you like it? Lot. You like it a lot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>